So this video is kind of explaining my new angle on studying for Spanish. Like I've been studying Spanish for like three, four years on and off. Um, in 2022, I did one year of just like comprehensible input, just like a lot of dreaming Spanish, watching videos. And this like improved my level like a bunch. Un montón, I wanted to say. Um, and then I did the complete opposite. I went on exchange for six months to Argentina and I just did a lot of output a lot of input as well but i just started speaking a lot and this really improved my confidence for speaking my ability to keep up with conversations uh, my ability to have different types of conversations so this helped a lot then i got back from that in january or february of 2024 and since then i've just like not i've been studying spanish here and there just a lot of different methods or styles or just using it when i can but i kind of been freestyling like i haven't had like an idea of how I wanted to do my next like step or my next phase. Um, so I've just been freestyling a bit. I just came back from one month in Spain where I did a lot of output again. And I think I'm just ready for like increasing input again and refocusing on input. Uh, because with output, what I was realizing is I was making the same grammatical mistakes and I wasn't even aware of the mistakes I was making. Um, and I just kind of feels like a bit of a tunnel that you, a tunnel board like when you're saying stuff and it just keeps bouncing back without improving um so it didn't seem like that was the path to improve my grammar which is basically what i have to do right now because for the rest i'm pretty happy with my spanish S like listening i'm happy speaking i'm happy like i can keep up but just grammar i just make stupid mistakes and like a2 mistakes um even though I'm able to have a B2 conversation, I make A2, A1 grammar mistakes. So I really have to, I really want to focus on that and um, level that up so it's equal to the listening and speaking. And so to do that, I'm going to, I'm going to do the classic reading. Like, I'm done with the comp, so I'm, I'm re-increasing input. Um, so similar to the comprehensible input phase of my Spanish learning, but I'm not going to do it with videos anymore. It is not serving me, it's not, uh, I'm not learning enough from them, and I can explain that in a different video, but I'm not gonna use comprehensible input to improve my grammar or Spanish at this point. I'll still watch videos, but I will not use it to learn grammar. Um, next video, I'll explain why. But I'm gonna do reading, and I'm gonna actually like use a lot of ChatGPT to explain the grammar rules watch YouTube videos where they explain grammar rules like estuve or estaba or fuera or fui or whatever, like these type of shit. Like I'm just gonna search them up in chat, have them explain it to me, watch videos, understand them a little bit, understand that there are rules and stuff. And then what I noticed, I've been doing this for two weeks now, is that when I start reading, I start just seeing those things. And I start seeing those rules. Um, so this is really nice. Um, this makes reading a lot more fun as well because you just keep catching these rules that you learn about like oh that's why they're doing that like that or that's why the sentence is structured like that or like with Spanish I also feel like it's super efficient language they try to make they get rid of stuff that's unnecessary so like it's really cool to see like oh they were able to drop that word because they had this in a, in a way where they can just like remove a lot of words so it's like really cool to catch that and once you catch the grammar rules and the syntax it makes reading much more um, interesting. And also, I, th I think also you get way more out of it because you are like confirming those rules. So like that, I'm really learning and memorizing the rules to apply in what scenarios. Um, so I've made a video before about reading a lot. This time <laughs> I'm coupling the reading with grammar practice to make reading more enjoyable. I'm also doing a bunch of different books. Like I'm not sticking, this is the, by the way, this is the only book I've read from start to finish in Spanish the chocolate factory so i'd say this is about my level but right now i started reading the atomic habits book um rereading because i read it in english so this is also i think cool they're rereading books i haven't read in a while but now in spanish and for me the level is perfect that book um then i also even have re i started manga like reading this like it's like yeah manga is just like japanese comics uh for the people who don't know um uh, then i have like news articles which I have I have like this app BBC Mundo like just read that once in a while so just a lot of different options and I feel like that really helps because like sometimes as I said explained previously when I got home from school 
I'm not in the mood to read a big, big book like Atomic Habits or something. But I am maybe in the mood to read a comic. Or I am in the mood to scroll Instagram and read, read posts on Instagram in Spanish. Or I'm in the mood to read a quick article. So having all these different options makes it so that you don't really have to choose to study Spanish. It's more you, you choose how you want to study Spanish, if that makes sense. So it's something that made me, um, that's making me easier for me to keep up with this new habit of mine of reading. Um, but still, there's still a long way to go and my grammar needs to improve a lot. And I really want to focus on the next, at least three, four, until Christmas, I really just want to focus on grammar. Um, I'm doing like online tests as well and I'm trying to understand why I'm not like seeing something and I don't understand it. So then I asked ChatGPT to explain it in more detail and then give me examples. Like I made a video how I do that. Um, so it's really helpful. Um, and I'm also writing a bit. So I'm asking chat for like a topic and I'll just write about my weekend or I'll write about my day and then I'll write it. I'll read it. I'll try to correct it. Then I'll ask chat. Okay. Can you correct it? And then sentence per sentence, he just gives me feedback. I think this is like, this will help like a lot for the grammar. Um, I'm a bit lazy sometimes, but if I have time, I'll do this. If not, I'll read more. But yeah, okay, output wise, I'm really just not gonna like, before I'd be really like keen on like finding situations where I can speak Spanish. Like I would, forcing Spanish situations, like I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm not gonna try to find times to speak Spanish. Um, obviously like the friends I have, I speak to them in Spanish. Like I'm not gonna change that. Also at work, I have to speak in Spanish um, occasionally. So I work in a museum. So sometimes with tourists, I, w I speak in Spanish. And obviously the work I do for Worlds Across, the Spanish learning company, I also to speak to my bosses in Spanish. So that I'm gonna maintain. But I'm not gonna go um, looking for Spanish output. I'm really gonna refocus on the Spanish input for the next four or five months. Um, build up my grammar ability, build up my reading. like, And then I'm gonna see and then give it a, when I'm when I feel like my grammar is ready like b1 b2 when I can just pass a b1 or b2 exam easily um, on like one of those online exams you know um, I'm gonna re-step up the output again but for now I'm just gonna re really refocus for the for the input and this time focused on before I did input more for comprehension and being able to understand words and like increasing my vocabulary and being able to keep up with conversation. So that was great. That's why I used YouTube and Dreaming Spanish. But now I need to, I'm doing it for a different reason. I'm doing it to um, increase my grammar, to be honest. So let's see, let's see how it goes. Um, but I'm happy with it because now I have like a, a form of studying. So, and I kind of have like a goal as well, like focus on the grammar part of the language. So this keeps me motivated as well. Like before the last six months, I just realized I was kind of just like fumbling about freestyling but then also not making much progress either, so. Um, yeah, that's the video.